Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is a special video. One, it should be a premiere as long as I've set it up correctly, and it should be, like, watching it live. Live. It's not a live stream, but today is the two-year anniversary of the channel, and on the 13th, really late at night, so kind of like the 14th, we hit 200,000 subscribers. So this video is a mashup celebration of 200,000 subscribers as well as two years and those two numbers just go well together they're both twos so i want to thank all of you guys who have stuck with me for these past two years to get us to where we are now so it, it just means a lot to me and i i wouldn't be here without you guys so i've got a lot planned for this video okay multiple announcements okay so we'll talk about the announcements first then I want to talk about the plan of this channel, especially since Miraculous is on a big hiatus for uh, oh, not, not uh, probably not a full year, but a, a decent amount of time. So I'm going to discuss what I'm planning to do for the hiatus. And then I want to look back on the history of this channel. You guys can see what it was called at first because it used to be called something different, kind of how we started. So yeah, so let's hop right into the announcements. Now, I don't know which announcement to go off of first. Stay tuned for both announcements. I think I'm going to talk about the merch first. So, we have this shirt. This shirt's been around for a while. This is just the typical CA shirt. And then this one. This is the uh, the other shirt that's... Oops, sorry. This is the other shirt that's been around for quite some time now. When I first introduced the other shirt. Can you see it? I don't know. Pictures, pictures will be coming on screen here soon. But there's also going to be a new shirt, which if you are a w aware, uh, the videos now have a new character. And he's not just wearing like a plain white shirt. He's wearing like a very, it's, it's a similar variation to Adrian's shirt. Adrian's shirt has five colors. My shirt only has three of his colors. So it's not the same thing. It is different, but that's coming soon. Now that's not out yet, okay? That's coming soon because of ordered sampling to get the to make sure the colors are right and those come in let's say like between the 20th and like the 24th or something so as soon as those are out i'll talk about it i'll make a community post those will stay on forever okay those shirts aren't going away but there is a limited edition shirt that's coming out for probably two weeks and actually it's more than just a shirt there's some hoodies so uh those ones should be out now because they are just colored shirts with white and black text so there shouldn't be any like coloring error so it says, hey, what's going on, guys? It looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, I've ordered a couple shirts for myself. And so you can get those now. Limited edition for two weeks. Never done something like this. I don't know if any are going to sell. Some might not sell. Like, it might not sell at all. Uh, I've actually had merch for quite a while now, over a year. And none of it's sold. I haven't sold a single shirt. But then again, I haven't really been plugging it. So if you want some merch, especially for the, ho uh, the holiday season, you can get that now. I might come up with like a promo code or something nothing's out yet uh, again still fairly new since I haven't sold anything but those are the variations and if you want to hold out for the Adrian shirt that those that shirt color will come in white and black and then maybe a gray depending on what the gray looks like and then the hey what's going on guys shirts has purple red a blue and then a white and a black so there's some options with coloring and then hoodies as well so we're all good there that's the new merch announcements and now for the really big announcement that I'm really excited for that I've been working my tail off for the past month. Well, it hasn't been the past month since the begin for, since October 31st. That was the, the start of the whole idea that I've been working on. It's MiraculousLadybugNews.com. Now, I made an announcement about this. It wasn't even like a true announcement. It was an announcement after I made uh, a video, like uh, two videos. I talked about it at the very end like past the outro all that stuff so it was only for the people who exclusively watched to the very end of the video so miraculous ladybug news is a website where all of the miraculous ladybug news from going forward from now going forward is going to be stored i'll make a post it's, it's a blog post but it's really just like a news post or whatever of a new news whatever it may be it, there will be stuff about merch basically anything new about miraculous not necessarily talking about like, hey, season two is airing in this other country. I do have languages tabs for like that has links to other Twitter accounts that might talk about that. But like, I, I'm going to be talking about the main new news. So like if a new episode for season four gets confirmed to come out tomorrow, a new post will be posted on there. And then 
There's also a countdown feature on the website. So when you go there, you can see a list of all the countdown of all the upcoming episodes. So like, for example, right now, Miracle Queen comes out on the 30th. So there's a countdown to the date and time of when that comes out. So you can check back there to see exactly when the episode comes out. And then there's also an episodes tab where there's a like a table with all of the episodes for a certain season so there's seasons one through three on there and then you can sort the table based on you want it if you want it on the the order that the episodes aired in so like for example with season three felix came or well camp block came out and then felix came out afterward and then so it was like episode 25 and 26 but on the production code obviously the finales come after all the other episodes in the season so you can sort the table based on if you want it like how it came out originally aired internationally or if you want it based on the production codes which is honestly really helpful because it's hard to find a good graph a good consistent uh, table of where you can find all the episodes so i really just wanted a website and then there will be like other pages with info on the episodes themselves but that's rolling out because obviously it's going to take a while to get all the episodes for miraculous because Let's see, there's like 26 episodes per season, so that's a lot of episodes. But right now, there's Felix and Campbell out. Anyway, that website is out. There's also a Twitter page uh, for that website, and that's mostly because I wanted a customized like Twitter feed. So on the side bar, there is the Twitter feed. So if you want to follow me there, you can. That'll probably be the very first place that you get news because I'll just be retweeting. It's mostly just retweeting other. Uh, tweets but compiling it into like a customized list there's no like fan art or cosplay photos on there it's strictly only going to be news which honestly is hard to find like a lot of the news websites or not websites the twitter accounts a lot of the twitter accounts also like retweet stuff that's not really related to the news so this uh, miraculous ladybug news twitter account is only for news nothing else and there is also a community tab on this Miraculous Ladybug News website, so you can talk with people on forums, make friends. I, I think the friends thing's a little buggy. The community tab's still a little iffy because you need like a lot of people to give feedback on that. And I, I've gotten some people who have given feedback, and thanks so much to those of you who have given me feedback because it really helps a lot. All the feedback that you have given me helps made or helped make the website what it is now, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without your feedback. But uh, just I need a bunch of people to try out the community tab to make sure everything's working and see how it handles or whatever. So there's a forums thing on there. So if you want to like share your theories or memes or whatever, go ahead and do that. Uh, and then I think that's it for the website. More stuff coming soon about it. And then also if you want to help support the website, there is a Patreon specific to the website and all the funding from that goes to funding the website because funding the website is not free. So it would I, I, it would help me if you helped the Patreon page for that because again, it's not free to host the website. So that's enough about the website. That's all about the new news and new stuff that's out for the channel. Now let's go ahead and talk about the future of the channel and what I've been working on as well behind the scenes. So obviously with Miraculous going on a huge hiatus, there's not much con like I still have a couple videos playing and now that the website's in a more stable uh, condition that's able to be released to the public and announced to the public um, I'm not gonna be focusing all my time because before if I wasn't making a video odds are I was working on the website so that took a whole lot of my time but now uh, a lot of videos that I've been planning for like <laughs> a video about the um, about the movie that's coming out from Miraculous. I want to make a video about everything that we know about that. And then I was going to make a video on why people dislike the finale, but I think I'll actually wait till after the 30th because I can watch the, uh, the full finale in English again. Uh, so I'm going to wait for the English dub to make that video. Just, I have a couple other videos playing as well. So those videos will be coming out soon now that I can actually work on them. But obviously in a month or two months, we'll still be getting some Miraculous news, but it's not going to be anything like what we've been getting now. And so you would think for a channel based purely on Miraculous at this point, it used to be a combination of Star and Miraculous. Actually, at first it used to be only Star, but we'll get into that when we talk about the history of the channel. Um, you would think that the channel would just kind of shut down. And it's not necessarily going to shut down. Like, The Owl House comes out next year. So I want to talk about that. Amphibia Season 2, I think, comes back next year. And then there, are, I might find, like, another cartoon that I want to review. But Miraculous has lately been taking up a lot of my time. So I haven't been able to do any other cartoons or whatever. And plus, just not as many people watch the other type of content that I post on that channel. Anyway, 
my goal for the hiatus is to work on my other channels now i don't know if any of you guys were aware but recently or not i don't know like a month ago maybe i announced two new channels anime apocalypse and 6128 6128 is not actually a new channel that channel is a channel that i've had for a while actually longer than the cartoon apocalypse channel i just haven't really done much with it those two channels are going to be focusing on two different types of content anime apocalypse anime videos obviously and then 612 aiden is going to be story time animation and some gaming videos a combination of the two so that's what my plan is i'm going to put more focus into those because over the past month or so i've just been so busy with miraculous content there have been weeks that i've uploaded every single day of the week and i just haven't had any time to work on any other types of content and that's partially why all my videos on every other like platform has just kind of ceased to exist uh like on my anime apocalypse i was making my hero academia content and just i i don't exactly know what i want to do with that channel yet i do have an idea and i'm gonna try working with that idea and seeing what i can make with it but those channels should be uh, more active here in the coming months with Miraculous slowing down with its news. But then Miraculous is going to be put more to the priority list once it comes back in the fall next year, supposedly. That's, when, that's the time frame that we have for it right now. So that's just kind of where we're at right now. So yeah, if you want to go support those channels, you can links are down in the description as always uh, actually links for everything that you might need down in the description below website link everything so that's kind of where we're headed with this channel and the future of i guess it's more of me not just so much the channel it's it's more about me as what i'm doing with different channels so that's cool and now let's go ahead and just talk about kind of the history of the channel because this is something that i like to do every year because i don't know i just think it's fun to look and see where i came from because i don't know it's it's completely different like the whole channel the channel is completely changed and i've gone through so many different phases with this channel i i don't know what the next phase will be because i'm at a point right now to where it's like okay how much more can the videos improve like other than just like scripting all the videos like i don't really see much more improvement as far as editing side I don't know, maybe I'll find something to do. Anyway, the channel started November 15th, 2017, and it was called Star vs. The Forces of Evil Ideas. Now, the reason I started this channel is because I just wanted to make content. I didn't really have a, a really good outlet to talk about everything that I wanted to talk about. I had some friends and stuff, but like I really wanted to talk about this because there was some juicy stuff. This is actually as season three was airing uh, its start. so. I just found this show out of nowhere just randomly and then I I just started making content on it and it was the perfect time because the algorithm of YouTube saw my videos and just kind of blew them up after like a week or so. Now I actually keep screenshots of all my channels now. It I didn't do it as much in the first week of starting CA or Star vs SVT Faux Ideas. Um, I didn't capture screenshots for the first couple of days. I did capture one on the 17th, the morning of the 17th. And here it is right here. And you can see just we had eight subscribers at this point, which was still insane because I had started the channel two days ago and we had already had almost 100 views. We had 100 views probably by the end of the day. And that's insane for a brand new channel making content. Uh, no other channel of mine has blew up as quickly as that one uh relative to what i've had before because i've had multiple other channels with other stuff that i don't do anything with anymore but it was just insane to see these views and eight subscribers to me in two days was a whole lot i know now we gain a lot more than eight subscribers a day but at the time that was a lot for me and so the next day i took another screenshot and on this day which was the 18th i was at 11 subscribers and that's the, you can see the view count down there. So they were getting decent amount of views for just starting out. Now, if we look at this day, this day is the 20th, and then we quickly look over at the 21st, you can see that there's a big jump in views on the Star Marco Souls Are Not Bonded, the Anti Soul Bond Theory, which actually wasn't a video of mine. That was one of Spencer's videos, which he doesn't make content. No other people who have 
previously been on the channel make content anymore. But that video blew up, it started out at 200 views for the 20th, and then on the 21st it had 1000 views which was just insane. I've had a couple other videos on some of my really old channels hit uh, 1000 subs or 1000 1, subscribers, 1000 views before but never this quick or really like just this much. And the other video that was my second video was, it had 500 views. And so it was just pretty crazy how they had so many views. Now skip ahead a couple days to the 24th. My Soul Bond Theory video had 11,000 views at that point. And then a lot of my videos that I had uh, on the 25th, all had over a thousand views, a lot of them did. Not all of them, but a, a, a decent amount actually did have over a thousand views. So then we go to the 30th, 15 days after starting this channel, we had over 1,000 subscribers, and everything at that point was just aligning for me to continue making this content. I was getting a lot of views, I was getting a lot of support, my videos were terrible, like the quality of the videos were terrible. It was just me talking with a screenshot. And if you think that me just rambling on now is bad, it was so much worse. I had no idea what I was talking about. I was forgetting characters' names. Everything was just not very great. The font that I used for the thumbnail was terrible. It just everything in general was really bad. So now you might be wondering, when did you change from Star vs. the Forces of Evil Ideas to Cartoon Apocalypse? Well, that was actually December 18th of 2017, I decided that I wanted to rebrand the channel because at this point I had wanted to branch out and make some other content. And it might not have been immediately that I really wanted to break out and do some content. I did start doing like, I made like two Steven Universe videos maybe. Um, I, I don't know. I'll see when I made the first Miraculous video. But I just wanted to look ahead for the future. I was planning for the future because I knew that this channel was something that I wanted to continue doing for the future because it was a hobby that I enjoyed doing. Uh, so I just wanted to rebrand the channel so that it could really be possible to expand. So I want to point out this screenshot right here on January 8th of 2018 because we can really see a transition in uh, thumbnail types. Uh, we can see my previous thumbnails with... Um, just the weird font and it being like 3d and it's like either red or green it, it doesn't look very good uh, in my opinion but we can see that just overlaid with some images or just like a, a really bad gradient background and then we can see this phase of there being just a slash like cutting the thumbnail in half and then text in the white space I don't know how I thought that that looked good. It doesn't look good. It looks really bad. Um, so <laughs> that's just, that was one phase that I wanted to point out because it was just like a funny phase. So then eventually I just kind of stopped doing that because it didn't look good. And then here, February 4th is when the first uh, Miraculous Ladybug video went up. And that, that one was actually a Tasman video, I think. I didn't make that video. But it did pretty good after our first couple days. It got a thousand views. Uh, so that was pretty good actually for a new type of content because a lot of the other content like the um, the Steven Universe videos didn't get very many views. Um, I can't remember if I made any other type of content, but basically Star Versus was the only content that was getting a lot of views and then that one Miraculous video was pretty good. So with this screenshot right here, we start to move into the what I want to call the modern era of Cartoon Apocalypse. And that's simply because um, on this new Season 3 Finale Leak video, that's when I first introduced my character, and that was just the very first video that I happened to put in a character, and then, like, just a week or so before that, I introduced new background music, and then you can see the, th or the, yeah, the thumbnail style starts to change pretty dramatically, and just overall, the look of the thumbnails, everything in general, just starts to look a lot better. And then at that point, I am starting to make uh, miraculous videos consistently whenever a new episode came out. And so I was just making like analysis videos and the video quality still wasn't very good. Like my voice just sounded weird. Uh, I don't know, just in general, the videos still weren't very high of quality. The, the character in the background just looked pretty bad as well. But that was sort of just like the new modern era of Cartoon Apocalypse. 
So then on May 8th of 2018, we hit 10,000 subscribers. This was a huge milestone and I was just freaking out and it was awesome that we finally hit that milestone because I don't know, it was how long ago? How long has the channel been out at this point? It would have been like six months, seven months roughly. So yeah. And then for 10 to have 10,000 subscribers, uh, after that span of time was really lucky. I, well, I mean, the channel just starting up the way it did was really lucky with the YouTube algorithm and the, my content and just star versus airing at that time. It just was extremely lucky. So, and at the time, but I, I should probably mention when I first started making videos, I had no idea that the round table or any other cartoon YouTuber exists. I just wanted a place for me to talk about my ideas of the show. That's really just what the channel spurred off of. It wasn't because I wanted to grow it the channel I didn't want to get where I am now but I just wanted an outlet and something to do so that's what I did and I just kept going with it because I enjoyed doing it and I got to where I am now so that shows that if you really have a passion for something and you really just want to do that thing do it and then eventually it'll pick up and then it'll just I don't know work out Really after we hit 10,000 subscribers is when the channel reached its really modern era, uh, more so than what we had previously hit. And around this time is when I was making Miraculous content almost in sync with my Star vs. content, possibly even more, because this was at the time when uh, Star vs. was in its hiatus, and then Miraculous wasn't in its hiatus, it was right around the time when um, the season 2 finale was coming out, and then season 3 started right after it, so that's when it happened, and then right around that time as well, the one year anniversary came around, so then I made a video talking about that, and then around that time as well, it was actually around this time last year, uh, that's when I started making the fan-made promos, which is really what boosted this channel to where it is now. Actually, I started making the fan-made promos, it, I can't, it was before November or like right at the beginning of November because I remember uh, saying that if we got to like 20,000 subscribers for uh, before the one year anniversary, then I would do something special. And we actually ended up hitting 25,000 subscribers on the two year anniversary, or not two year, on the one year anniversary. So that was pretty cool. We had 25,000 subscribers on the one year. So that means that we made, or we got roughly 175,000 subscribers in the past year, which is just insane. So I continued to make news content uh, as well as just theories and other stuff. And I continued to make fan made promos until eventually my channel got completely shut down. Well, it didn't get completely shut down. I completely lost all monetization and I got a copyright strike. So I had to stop making that and that's why I don't make any content. I enjoyed making that content. I didn't make it because it got a lot of views. I mean, it did, but I just enjoyed making the content because what I could do is splice together clips and make and tell a whole nother story with the clips that I was putting together. And that's why I really enjoyed doing it because it was like I was creating my own miraculous episode, but I can't do that anymore because I got shut down for it. So that's why I don't make that kind of content today. So then we fast forward to February 12th, 2019. This year, we hit 100,000 subscribers on that day, on February 12th. I released a like a very promo style video uh, and this was a really big overhaul point for the channel because before this time I was just making just very basic content. I had the one character who made, who had like two different moves and even after that he still really only had two different moves, but the character was overhauled. He looked completely different. He looks very similar to what he looks like today. And overall, that was a really big step in the direction because the character just didn't look very good at all. And I completely changed the background. It basically changed the way that the channel looked completely. The only thing that really stayed the same from the uh, old days was the same music. I still use the same music that I did when I first talked about changing it back earlier on in this video. So there was that. And really, the channels basically stayed the same ever since then. I was making Star vs. content, I was making uh, Miraculous content, and eventually once Star vs. ended, I just completely switched over to Miraculous content, essentially. And then pretty close to when Star ended, uh, then Amphibia started picking up, so then I was making some Amphibia content. 
But ultimately, ever since we hit 100,000 subscribers, the channel's basically stayed the same. It hasn't changed too much after that point. That is until about three months ago, I overhauled the channel again. It wasn't a complete overhaul. I changed the transitions and I changed the character yet again. The character is the same as it is now. I mean, I did go through a couple testing video phases, but overall, that's when the character got animated and that's when the channel really stepped up its quality to match, I would say, professional grade uh, YouTube content. Now, the biggest thing that's kind of like deterring the videos, like the editing, I think is good. I could do a little bit more, but in order to get the videos out as soon as I do, I have to like limit myself as to how much detail and editing I can do on the videos. But really the biggest thing that's keeping the videos back is me just talking and rambling on. I could really improve the quality of the content if I made a script for every single video, but honestly, I don't want to do that. Uh, that just, it takes time, I don't enjoy writing scripts, and it kind of, to me, it feels like I'm taking away the life to the channel if I'm just writing a script and I'm just reading what I wrote. Sure, I can do that, and it, I'll, I do that for, like, videos that I really want to make professional, but for most content, I'm just unscripted, maybe have a couple notes, but overall, that's just how I've been doing the channel for a while. And that's where we are today. That brings us to this current point in time where I'm making miraculous content full time, pretty much. And so there's not really any other content. Uh, and that's probably going to change. Like I said, the Owl House looks very promising. So I will likely be making content on that. And then Amphibia Season 2, if the episodes are good enough to make content for, I will like I have been. And so that's where we are today. So thanks so much for tuning into this video. Uh, I, I just spent a lot of time going through my nostalgic times. And so let's see, the timer is 45 minutes of recording this. This video is gonna probably be like 100 gigabytes. No, it's not gonna be that big. But I have to do a lot of cutting because this video is probably only gonna be between 20 and 25 minutes long. So thanks so much for staying to the very end. If you are, um, just go check out Mariah Gets Ladybug News. I'm really excited to announce that. And then your limited edition merch is out now. So you can go check that out as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.